What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I figured as usual with the new Series 8 dropping and the new Apple Watch Ultra dropping, a lot of people are going to be looking to sell one of their older Apple Watches. This is the Apple Watch Series 7 and a lot of people might not know how to unpair this, un or remove the activation lock and all of those things. So I want to go ahead and show you how simple it is to do so with your iPhone and with your Apple Watch being in close proximity. So what you're going to want to do is currently unlock your phone and go ahead into your actual Apple Watch app and you're going to want to select all watches where it says up top and you'll see currently all we have is this 45 millimeter case um, and that's the only one currently listed. If you have other watches though, you will see those listed here as well. For now though, just go ahead and click on that little information dot icon and you can see right at the bottom, pretty easily, it says unpair Apple Watch. When you do this, you're going to get a verification that that's truly what you want to do. You'll select that. And then it's saying Apple ID password, enter your password that's associated in our case Wave Rider 3 at me to unpair this Apple Watch, remove it, disable activation lock, and remove find my watch. So why these other aspects are important aside from just restoring it, if you were to go sell your watch, with your activation lock still on or iCloud lock still on, the pr new purchaser, the new owner of your watch would not be able to get in without your ID password. So I don't think you want to go around giving everyone your password. It's much more beneficial to do it this way than straight through the watch on a charger just because it will remove all of these aspects. Let me go ahead and type in my password here and click on pair at the top and you'll see that it is going to unpair the watch and in a moment you should see your regular spinning circle here it does take a few minutes for everything to complete um, but it will work just like that you'll see your Apple logo and everything else spinning with those digits around the perimeter doing so so as you can see already it has begun and that's all it is to it I will let this complete and we'll be right back to show you that it is truly, completely factory reset. Okay, so as you can see here, we are back to your traditional screen when you un unbox your watch. And you can see it is saying good morning. We can start pairing. And you want to set it up for yourself or your family member as you traditionally would. And now it's saying hold it up to scan your QR code. Let me get it closer. And you see there's a software update ready. If you do not want to do that, you can skip and continue. And just like that, it is repaired again. So we're not going to restore from backup. We'll set up as a new left wrist. And it's your traditional pairing setup from here on. So yeah, it is literally that easy, guys. Hopefully this helps. If you come up with any issues along the way, let me know in the comments down below. Um, are you still getting activation lock messages or any issues like that? Let us know. I'm curious. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.